The Jay Slater case is getting a lot of media attention, and speculation is wild. 19-year-old Jay Slater went on his first holiday without his family, and vanished. His friend, Lucy, got a call from him, saying that he is lost, needed water, and his phone battery was low. The search enters its ninth day today, and his family are absolutely frantic. Social media users and online sleuths have been digging into Jay's past, and some are even saying that it's karma. Jay has a black mark in his past, as he was part of a group of eight people who attacked a young man, and severely injuring, almost killing him. It's actually being said that Tenerife cops are probing Jay's criminal past to see if it is relevant. Jay was part of an eight-strong gang that split the skull of Tom Hilton, then 17 years old, during an attack with a machete, golf clubs and an axe in Rishton, Lancashire, in 2021. After Spanish press revealed Jay had been involved in the machete attack that left Tom fighting for his life, it was revealed that police are looking into his disappearance was linked to that attack. Details of the attack were posted all over social media, with many saying that this is Jay's karma. However, the victim of the attack, Tom Helton, came to Jay's defense in a shocking turn of events. He wrote, whoever is writing on these TikToks, give it a rest. This young lad's missing and his family's heartbroken. Put yourself in their shoes. Stop talking nonsense on social and get this lad found, mentioning my name all this and that. Have some respect and help find this boy and get him back to his family. In court he described the gang as a pack of wolves, and he was forced to run for his life through nearby woods before being set upon. When sentencing the eight boys, the judge took the rehabilitative approach when sentencing them for violent disorder and further offenses including witness intimidation, attempted robbery and conspiracy to supply class A drugs. Jay was given an 18-month community order with 25 days rehabilitation activities and 150 hours unpaid work for violent disorder, and he went on holiday to Tenerife last week after completing most of his sentence. His mother Debbie is convinced he has been taken and appealed to anyone who was holding him to let him go.